Jumping right into things today, I'm actually going to be starting with some sunscreen. Now, my hands are gonna have a white cast because I originally bought this sunscreen to wear on my face. It gives me a white cast, and if you have brown skin, you know how hard it is to find a good sunscreen. And you know what? I should have just stuck to the line from this particular brand that I normally get. It was too much to send back, so I'm just gonna use it on my hands. They're gonna look a little weird, but you know what? At the end of the day, at least they are protected. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of shaping for this nail that looks just a hot mess right here. I know y'all see it, it's the ring finger. Anytime I take my extensions off, I am so rough with my hands and I need to stop because I keep breaking them off. They'll grow and then I break them and it's only my fault, but anyway. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and prep the inside of these extensions y'all do we see what we have here they're shorties i mean they're not short short but they're like short to me and it's a square so i tried to switch it up for y'all because i realized i'm literally doing the same shape and length because i just love me a good long stiletto nail but i really thought the junk frenchies would look better on some shorter nails and a square shape to be exact so that's what i'll be using today now this is a complete different change from what I normally do. So let me know in the comments if you prefer me to stick with the stiletto shape because I will have no problem with that. Or if you prefer for me to use different shapes and lengths, let me know in the comments down below because at the end of the day, I wanna make sure that I'm making videos that you all like to see and we're growing. I mean, I think at the time that this video goes live, we're close to 7,000 subscribers and i truly appreciate each and every one of you and i'm loving seeing our community grow so thank you all so this is a smaller extension so what i'm going to be doing is taking the gel x prep because I also was curious to know if the gel x prep by opre works with other brands the brand of tips that i'm using today is beetles and this is their medium square shape and you can see that gel x prep creating the texture that we're looking for. So it does work on other brands of extensions in case you were wondering like I was. Moving along to natural nail prep, I'm gonna begin by applying some dehydrator. I'm gonna use this one from Model Ones. I use it all the time. I have so much of this. Instead of applying primer today, I will be using a peel off base coat. I've been testing this one here to see the longevity. And just to give you all a quick review, I can keep them on for about three days, but I want them to last a little bit longer. So I'm doing a little test and I'll come back and share my findings. Um, I do wanna try this with the primer to see how it works, but we'll do that later. I actually could do a video comparing all my peel off base coats and then going through each and every one of them and sharing my thoughts. So if y'all wanna see that, let me know. But in the meantime, I am gonna go ahead and cure this in my lamp for about 60 seconds. So now it's time to apply these gel extensions. I am going to just do my regular process here, applying this to the bottom half of the extension, holding it over my nail in a 45 degree angle, letting the glue flow to the top of my natural nail, and boom, we're gonna flash cure for 15 seconds. When I'm using longer extensions, this is so much easier. This actually was a little bit um, different than what I'm used to because you had to have a good grip on this and I talked about this in a previous video you can check that out here about how it is harder to apply shorter extensions than it is to apply longer extensions because the visibility is blocked you have to find a good grip your hand may slip off etc etc so I did apply these like normal and then I switched over to the tweezer method that I also talked about in that previous, I think it was my non-dominant hand hacked video. I'll link it somewhere. I'm gonna pop in here really quickly to talk about my thumb. So I know a few of you have commented that you also have wider nail beds on your thumb as well, just like me. Hello, we're now a community. But anyway, so I was struggling with the medium square on my wide thumb, which is crazy because I never had a problem with these when I was using this like years ago, but I guess things change. So what I ended up doing was going in with the Beatles long square instead because they were wider and they worked better. And all I did was just trim this down to the length I wanted it. So just putting that out there for my girls with the wide thumb, just like me. So here are what the nails are looking like on. I actually like this length. I bought this set two years ago, used it maybe four or five times. 
and then put it away. So pulling it back out, I think I need to do it more often because I'm actually feeling this length and shape right here. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the outside of the extensions to get it ready for polish. So there was a previous video where I did not do this step and I did not apply base coat and then I got this question here. So let me explain a little bit. There are certain brands, Opre is one of them, where they say, hey, you don't need a base coat when you're working with our tips. I personally have found that claim to be true. I have never had polish chip off on me if I decide not to apply a base coat or file the outside of the extensions. But another thing that you have to take into consideration is the brand of polish that you're using and the quality that you're going to be using. So if you know it's something that chips all the time, go in with a base coat or prep the outside of the extension with your standing band. I, at this point, have been doing my nails for so long with the same brand of products. I know what works together and what doesn't. For this video, honestly, I'm just doing this process so that I can have this conversation with y'all. But better safe than sorry, go in with the base coat or file the outside of the extension. So I'm done filing the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and we're gonna begin the nail art process. So I'm gonna get started by using this Peachy Nude by Beatles and I'm just gonna apply a thin layer at this point. I'm gonna go in with my favorite sparkly polish. This one is from Nail Reserve LA and it is just peachy undertoned. It has sparkles in it, but they're not super thick and chunky. So I really love this, but I love to layer it with something else. You can actually wear this one by itself. You would just put like two or three coats, but I like to layer the Beatles one and this one because I think they just look the best together. All right, so at this point, I'm going to be using a different product than I normally use to do my Frenchies today. I'm going to be trying out this gel paint here, but in this colors. But before I do that, I want to make sure that the French tips aren't too thick. So I'm laying down the flower that's going to be in the center of each nail and I'm going to basically measure where I want my smile line to be so I don't make it too thick or too thin. And I am just going to mark where the edges of the flower stops. So we have that marked on each side. So now I know don't go past this point or don't go above this point when making the smile line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each of the nails. for the French tips. Um, I'm going to be doing my French tips a little bit differently than I normally do. I typically will put two diagonal lines on each side and then connect them. But for this one, I don't want so much of a deep French. I want it to be more round. So for this one, I'm just dragging my brush back and forth from left to right until I can get the smile line to look the way I want to. <laughs> Here are what my French tips are looking like right now. I always do like a rough draft and then I go in to clean them up, fix the shape, whatever I need to do before I cure. But I'm going to be doing that process off camera today because I really need to get close to my eyes. 
So normally I will have my feet up in the chair, my hands resting on my knee, and then I will start fixing my smile lines because I'm really close to my eyes. My head gets down and it blocks the view. So my camera was going insane. It wouldn't autofocus, nothing. So I decided to do it off camera. And here's what it's looking like now. I decided that I'm going to stop at this point because if I keep looking at it, I will spend all day going back and fixing these smile lines. And it's unnecessary. For this look, the smile lines are going to be covered up with rhinestones. So if you are struggling with drawing French tips and you wanna do this nail design, you don't need to worry too much about it, honestly. They don't need to be perfect because they'll be covered up anyway. I just wanted to make sure I had a good guide down for when I go to lay my rhinestones. So we're gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds and then we're going to begin the fun part. So I'm gonna grab some Macart rhinestone glue and I'm going to place this all over the entire area where I have the French tips. And I'll be using basically a bunch of different things that I have not used in a while because I buy all these different nail art supplies and then I end up not using them. So I'm gonna use them for these junk nails. First things first, I'm going to be laying down this flower in the center of the nail because I want everything to pretty much surround this flower. So technically, a junk nail is just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff on the nail. It doesn't have to be coordinated in color. It doesn't have to be symmetrical on each side. Each nail isn't supposed to look the same, but I at least wanted the flower to be in the center because it's spring. Like, let's get some floral vibes going on. So, and now I'm gonna just take everything, rhinestones, pearls, caviar beads, you name it, and I'm just going to place them wherever on the nail. There's really not much I have to say about the technique because there wasn't one. I just threw everything on the nail. When you do it, you can do whatever it is you want. So you don't have to think too much about it, which is why I really love this nail design because I love designs where you can just zone out. It isn't that serious. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. There's no line work. It's just having fun and letting your brain be artistic and creative and do whatever it is your brain tells you what to do. So the first nail is all done and here's what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and flash cure and I recommend that if you are doing junk nails that you flash cure between each finger. I did about 30 seconds and I'm just using my desk lamp. Oh my goodness, let me talk about these flowers. So look at it, it is straight up orange. So I went back to my order history because I ordered these two years ago from Shein and I really don't use them that much but there was no mention of these being like glow in the dark or something or what is it called um oh my gosh i can't think of the term right now but you know the things that turn one color when they're cold turn one color when they're hot they didn't say anything about that so if you decide to purchase these as well keep that in mind if you go outside in the sun if you are curing in the lamp when they get warm they are going to turn color they will turn back to their original color once I guess they cooled down or something. I don't know, but as you can see here, it's back light pink. <laughs> it's just like, it just threw me for a loop because I was not expecting it when I was doing my nails, but just to share that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the junk nail process for the rest of the fingers.
So I'm gonna go ahead and cure in my lamp and we're gonna watch these flowers turn from light pink to literally orange. So now I'm gonna be applying some top coat. I actually got this recommendation from a Facebook group that I'm in for Gel X Nails. And if you like thicker consistency top coats, you'll really like this one. It has amazing shine. It actually lasts and it self levels perfectly. I've used it off camera multiple times. I think this is the first time using it in a video. I typically like thinner consistency top coats, but for this look, you wanna use something that has a thicker consistency so that you can cover those pearls and rhinestones and keep them in place and also make sure that the colors don't fade. All right, so everything is nice and top coated. I'm gonna go ahead and do the final cure. So here is the final look. I had so much fun doing these and it was also refreshing for me to go back to a medium square after constantly doing stiletto nails because, you know, these are actually the shortest I've had in a very long time. But these actually came out better than I expected. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do so on your way out. But in the meantime, if you are looking for something else to watch, you can check out one of these videos here.